Hello my friends and welcome to this maybe eleventh episode of Avion Photon Place Minecraft Survival um, The World of B3O Expansion Location Ascendancy And I'm still in the robot suit as you can see the flying fruit picking robot Ooh ooh <laughs> And what? What is this glowing? It's supposed to be a cheetah. I built it yesterday while streaming. Also, what is this? It's a giraffe <laughs> eating around a tree. Uh, what more? Oh, it's a crocodile. Gigantic. <laughs> and a elephant. <laughs> so I've been a little bit busy uh, doing some silly stuff here. We're just building out of this. We can pretend they are not wool, but some other material and stone and so on. I tried to get some more people on the server, but none have joined yet. In case you want to help out, and if you're watching this and want to help you out, uh, just send me your Minecraft name and uh, I'll add you and let me meet here to build together. Uh, maybe you want to talk to me recording in Discord. Uh, I should post a link in the video. Okay, uh, so today what we're gonna do is yeah, I wrote these signs here, what to do. So we're gonna do this today. Add the music room, bathroom and workshop. Down here in the bottom part. So I thought in the back here we can add uh, some kind of bath. Just taking out the, from the pipe, water pipe here. Extending and building a bath here should be really good. Then we add some, some type of music place here and uh, and the workshop here. So I'll get the material for that and let's get started. Alright, to begin with I picked up the tools and I'm thinking about the um, flooring of the music part. I think some spruce wood would be very nice. So we'll bring this spruce logs and even, yeah, let's make, mix in dark oak. Well, some slabs already made, and uh, that's it for the music part here. We can also grab this oak to make uh, musical boxes. And then to extend the pipe, I think we can do just like we did on the top. Use a little bit of cobblestone, cobblestone slabs, the wall, we grab them Maybe we will need them. Then we will also need a bucket of water to start the water with. And we can also use the ice to fill the, the basin. So, how have you been today? You can tell me in the comments. Uh, I've been on my first job interview, which went very well, I think. Come back for another one later. Uh, it's looking promising. I am applying for more jobs than just one. So it's not really sure yet where I will end up working. And until then, well, I'm here making Minecraft videos for you. Um, come here. Oh, and I have been improving this tree as well. Uh, adding more of the completely covered logs. Oh, they are not bugs. <laughs> they are actually oak wood, they are called. Mostly in the interior, so I've almost completely replaced all of them here. So that the tree looks better. Not as uh, yes, if it was constructed, but more of it's grown by itself. Which is what we are going for. Okay, so here we are at the nether portal. And 
I don't know if I have shown you before, but there is a hidden room behind it. So here's how you open it. And it's a secret treasure place, and then boom! The portal you know, disappears. You know, I'm going in here behind. You can you can even hide inside here you know, if you want and have a bed to sleep. Uh, <laughs> it's quite nice. Uh, but now we are going to pick up the quartz. Oh, and another thing I did since last episode was I brought uh, some uh, potatoes and and carrots and planted them on the the second floor of the Cation Ascendancy. All right, uh, what else do we need? We need material for the workshop. Let's see what we got here. Gravel. These are mostly plants. They are not so useful at all. Actually, I don't think we need anything from this place. <laughs> Let's go out and see what we got. Uh, we can go past here. Stone mason. Good. Oh, we do have stone over there, so we, I don't think we need anything here either. It's missing. Let's. I think we even have the the cracked bricks. So let's get back to the savanna and get started living. Oh, I forgot about the musical notes. So let's go in, get, go in here to the wizard's house, the second floor, and we have some redstone to bring. Uh, that should be enough to do a few of the musical blocks. And we're doing circuitry. Hmm. Not sure we're doing anything of that yet. So let's leave that for now. Alright, let's start here in the back with the pipe. I thought we need an outlet. Let's make it a bit higher here. The water can go down. And secure the side. So the water doesn't leak. Like that. And then let the water flow out on the slab before it goes down. Similar to upstairs. We can extend this like this. Should look quite nice. And have the water drop should up over here. Go one more. See how it looks one more. Quite too long. So yeah, I think that's a bit over the top. Let's bring it down here. So we we need to build uh, make house slabs and stairs of the quartz blocks. So let's bring the actually we're making a workshop so we can bring in the, the crafting table or Let's make another one. Uh, so we have one outdoors as well. Leave that there and go in with this one. Alright. Place it. The workshop's gonna be here, so let's just place it there to mark the location for now. And we'll make a bunch of quartz slabs here. Now with the new water mechanics, which is I really love, uh, the water will will not float half slab above like before, which was very awkward. Uh, but it will actually go down to the hostel. Uh, something we tried in previous episodes. <laughs> Much to my delight. Alright. Uh, enough for those. And uh, Maybe it can blow out like this. Make a little corner. I like that. So you can really sit here. In, imagine you're sitting here in the water. And uh, let's see how it goes. Will we fill the water if it goes all the sides? I don't know that yet. It stays inside. Let's make this one short. That. Be more space. There. Alright. Let's try with the water and see what happens. 
Should place it here. No, it's also <laughs> out to the side. Ah, I place it inside the block. So that's part of the new mechanics. Uh, this, that you can place the water inside the... Uh, inside um, any transparent block, which these are. So we need to place it in another way. Can we place it? Oh, let's take a nice cube. We place the ice cube here, and now when we break it, it should float. There, but it flows to the other side. And that's not what we want either. If we destroy this, we do that? No. Alright, what can we do now? <laughs> Um, let's try again. Remove it. Perhaps if we block the pipe temporarily inside. Let's block the pipe inside. There. And now, now we have, have actually somewhere to put the place the water bucket on. There we go. Stop. There we go. Now it was. Now we should be able to remove the block inside the pipe. Yes, and the water still goes down. But it doesn't spread. And it goes. Ah, oh, very strange. Hmm. I don't know why this is. I was hoping that the water would go down into it here. Instead, it, it goes to this. Okay. Uh, let's take it away. Do it again. Instead, let's make a hole here so it doesn't spread away. See what happens now. Oh, it stays there. And now, if we place the quartz down, ah, it starts to spread. Just like it did before. Oh, that's curious. Do we move it? Ah, oh, it doesn't really help. Alright. Hmm. Maybe we can do what we can do is we fill it with a quartz block. So let's make it a special one. Chisel one here. And then perhaps we can fill manually, let's see. Like this. With buckets. And the rest to replace. Okay, let's start with this. Alright, let me get the water source to fill faster. Alright, so it seems like the infinity uh, water block still works. That we, so I made another bucket and I got two filled buckets of water from the river nearby. There's one here and one here. And now I picked up from the middle and the water still fills out. That's really good. So now we can actually fill this. Uh, I thought I would have to make uh, a separate temporary infinite water source by closing off three three blocks here, but you can actually do it here directly in the in the bath. Let's see what happens here. We can fill that one there. I'm curious about the corners. If the if it spread it, oh, it stays. That's great. I can just go about and feel this like this. Ah, and you see that it, when you connect them they start uh, feeling automatically. And there, this one connects with this and fills this. And then we suddenly have everything filled. <laughs> Good. And I should be able to take it from here. Yeah, and it automatically repeats. As long as, that is, as long as the block has at least two proper uh, water sources uh, next to it. So we can fill here and it should fill here. There. And now we can take this as well. Fill this one. Oh, that was wrong. Okay, I shouldn't have done it. So this, this is filled already. I think. Yeah. Doesn't seem to, to be able to, to adjust this. It's kind of a strange line there. This is kind of as if it was not the proper water source, but it's. I guess we have to leave it at that. We cannot place it uh, inside the block. 
Uh, I'll try this up on top of it. Okay. Also here. Yeah. So it counts as already well filled. Maybe that's a, a bug for Mojang to fix actually. Uh, it will probably be fixed in a future update. Uh, the corner. Because I don't think it should. The water surface should still stay uh, horizontal. Uh, and it should be when it's filled. Not look like it's not filled properly. Well, yeah, enough of that. So we have the bath. The bath is made. Of course, we can make it nicer. <coughs> uh, I think here yeah, it would be a great place for some gray terracotta for decoration. So let's get on here on to the floor for the music place. So we have a crafting table here. We can make already uh, more half slabs for the floor. Let's make all of them. Then we have enough. Uh, more spruce half slab as well. And now make some nice pattern here. Make dark. So we just alternate. Um, can look quite nice. This filling out this area. We could also make it have some kind of function. Uh, let's do for now stripe. Floor. Which is more clean, nice to walk on here. Um, this. And. Oh! And I wrote uh, two pages of uh, the story line, by the way, that's related to this uh, whole world. Uh, Flower Valley, introducing the owl in the tree of Flower Valley and the, the explorer called Azu. And if you want to read them, you should be able to find them on my webpage. Maybe if you search uh, Savannah, you should be able to find them on my webpage, bkh.me. I hope I will keep it there and expand uh, with more chapters or pages, whatever it's called. Uh, kind of right. Oh, oh, I'm expanding actually. Uh, is how we want to do it. Although we, I think we want more separation uh, between the areas. It's been more clear that where is the musical area which you end here. Maybe we make a little frame in there. And we go for some other. Let's get, make this neutral middle. And go for something else there. It's a workshop, so, so it could still be wool. Um, we would like some way to know it's uh, walking to the the bath as well. Perhaps we will do take out these ones. And we can frame this area as this for now. This Start something down here actually. Uh, let's, let's do some musical blocks. And uh, we need more wood. Just to mark. Oh, that's the chest. Sorry, <laughs> I wasn't going to. There we go. The notebook. Oh, in this part. They look like uh, crates. So we might want to change the chest. The Texture pack. 
Let's put uh, better. There we are. Use your box. Should make a sound. I don't hear anything. Maybe I have my sound off. Anyway, let's start. Uh, so let's remove this. I will make some kind of path here to the back. We could extend a bit around it. Mm. Maybe this has a step to go in. And I remove these ones. Mark the, the way to walk. Oh! That's the trouble. Let's fix that with um, the cobblestones there. There. The archery travel. Now we can, we can even use this chisel quartz blocks. We could use them here uh, to mark this place. Like that. Uh, this is the full block. Path to enter. Or oh, we can do it along the pillar. Oh, there's the problem again with the floor. Hmm. Let's see okay. one of these. And we can. Put back some stone here. And for now, let's do like that. And fill in this way from the side. Okay. Alright. It's not too bad to start with. And maybe we should make one. Yeah, we should make it on the other side too. So let's replicate it. Alright, trying to use the, the right tools. Uh, it's a bit hard to see. Whoops, almost fell down. Uh, what is gravel or not? Oh, maybe it's gravel. So I have to use the shower. <laughs> Here is the color. Anyway, uh, there's some cobblestone stairs there. Let's go quartz. Actually, let's, let's grab. I don't think we need it. Pattern here. Two quartz blocks all the way from simple first. That. Filling in this one. And a slab to make it to enter. Let's bind it together. See how that looks. So. Why not have this actually the whole area? Um, so we have this chisel one. We use them to the, for the corners. So, that's not too bad. I like that. Um, there's the zone around the water pipe with a material that is more water resistant. That's good. Now I have kind of a separation goes natural with the pillars. Let's go from Alright, for the workshop floor I decided uh, to use bricks. I think we can go in and see how it looks like. It should look really good with uh, bricks, I think. That's a good yeah, let's make enough to fill the floor here. Thirty to start with. Let's move this uh, cutting table. So maybe we even mirror something from the other side with a um, striped pattern. And then, uh, oh, that actually fill out bricks like this. For example, we could use um, smooth stone. Half slabs in between. I'm not sure how that looks like. Let's do stripes like this. Uh, 
and now we need something to fill in in between just to make the floor a bit more interesting I think uh, than this one material what do we have here? not in this chest um, not so organized but we have to make it craft it here, let's take stone make it into stone bricks and then we can have let's make a bunch there we go alright I'm almost going down here I'm really gonna make a stair here um, there we'll put it in was one too many. All right, like that. <laughs> oh, in the corner of that. Side. This kind of, I kind of like this. Although, could be that it should be in reverse. So let's see how it looks like with the stone brick slabs. Yeah, I think that looks better. Make the stone brick slab. It's the border. And then have the bricks inside. You know what? Let's do. Let's follow the pillars like this. And take this out so that we align the stone bricks with the pillar. So the the brick, the stone brick, like that. This in uh, this one could be that. Uh, that now we have a like areas of two blocks of bricks. I think that looks very good. Now we are ready for furniture in this space and here too. All right, I think this is really good for today. Uh, working on the interior actually. We might want to do uh, just a little bit on the floor here. Let's replace the, the same here. Replace the these with the stone brick slabs. That and leave this. On. Should we leave this or not? Fill this up here. And we could even do something more here. Now it's starting to look a bit better. More here could be a good place to place. Well, actually, chests they would float in the air. Yeah, so not that. How about water to to wash yourself? I really like this new feature. Yeah, uh, yeah. Some water so you enter if you want to wash your feet or something or wash some tools like this. okay cool and now I really want to fix <laughs> fix this stair here I do a little bit of something to mark the ascent we have yeah, we have cobblestone stairs we'll do the trick Mm, like a staircase here. Something nice, simple. So every time we walk around here, we don't only consider walking down to the cistern. Also, actually, connect it. So, yeah, let's, let's put it here. Like this. And here. And some slabs. And let's mix it up mm. there and should be another star there mm. not sure what this 
And if you have suggestions, feel free to leave your comment. What do you think I should do here? I should change it somehow. Uh, I really appreciate any ideas for these stairs. Mm. I don't. It's a little bit too hidden like this. Something like that. Mm. Should be a bit better. Uh, let's make it easier to go around the corner. We can actually replace two cobbles and have the bricks on the side. Like that. Oh, it kind of sets quite well into the side here. Mm. Yeah. Alright, we let's leave the stairs like this for now. And uh, this will be the end of this episode. We did quite a lot. We got this nice place to take a bath in, figure out the water, um, and got the floors done for the music area and uh, the workshop, and even the entrance with a nice feature here as well. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, uh, please leave a like, share with a friend, subscribe if you haven't done it. And see you in the next episode of Kitchen Ascendancy in B3O. Bye bye. Oh, reverse. I don't see what is the front or the back on this guy. Hey, bye bye.